Good day and welcome back to my channel. Today, or shall I say tonight, because it is like nine o'clock at night, it is a Wednesday after my acting class and a very long day of doing audition tapes, uh, which went really well on both accounts. And I just felt the need to hop on in and make a video. I knew I needed to curl my hair for tomorrow. Um, this is my, like the OG curls. They loosen up, don't worry. But I thought I'd leave it like this. I thought, I think it's adorable to have like one day like this. I know it's not super like in fashion, but I love it. Like if I can have one day of like uber curly hair, let's do it. And then it'll relax. And um, today I'm going to be doing a top three of all products in high end. I've already done a drugstore version of this. So now it's time to do the high end. So we are just going to dive right in. I'm gonna start the same way that I apply things it, with primer. So my very favorite primer from the, when I say high end, I'm gonna talk mostly Sephora because I don't usually shop at like Nordstrom's or anything like that. I'm talking luxury products. I'm talking high end price tags. So this first one I have is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and this is almost completely empty because I love it so much. This keeps my makeup stuck to my face for as long as I need it. For 15 hours on set all day, this is why this bottle is almost completely empty. Oh, look at that. This is, Lara is usually in my, oh look at um. little bitesies of love. Let's not say hi baby. That's not good for the shirt because that will snag. Hi buddy. Go back to bed. And we're back. Oh now he wants to play. I might have to put him outside. Hi. Okay so we'll see. I'll keep an eye out in the corner. The next one I have is the Varsali. It's going to be the liquid powder balancing serum with French pink clay. So this is really great for my oily skin. I'm pretty sure it's actually discontinued, which is too bad because it goes on really thin and acts like kind of a powder base so that my oils don't actually even get a chance to peek through. Next, I have something that I don't actually have the product for. It's gonna be the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Hopefully, I'm gonna to try to put a picture here. I'm, I'm, I'm learning all this editing stuff, right? Let's, let's attempt to, to pop a picture in here. We'll see. Um, but I really love it. It's kind of like a better high-end poreless elf putty primer and it does the whole shebang, the whole meal deal. So it just like sets and then it stays and then it fills my pores and then it like don't doesn't allow my skin to like over oil. I really like that. And then the next we're going to move to foundation. So my three, that's, I think that's my favorite category like in total is foundation because I've always had less than stellar skin growing up and I think foundation was the thing that I was just constantly like looking for, like constantly looking for like the it one, the one that like was perfect, the one that like did all of the things. I have a little ambiance going on here. This is autumn cozy. I like having ambiance in the background played on YouTube often like while I'm doing my coffee morning with my boyfriend in the morning or if I'm reading or writing or doing like I keep crazy track of like my schedule and like everything money wise that I spend and so like when I'm doing that kind of like admin stuff in my life I throw this on and it makes me feel good so now that we've I've been <laughs> rejecting autumn for like the last two weeks I'm like no it's not autumn yet it's not autumn it's still summer but I can't no I can no longer like hold on to that because it's a comment. It's a comment and I actually love autumn. So I'm go trying to gracefully embrace it. Thus with my cute little I feel like this is like got an autumn vibe shirt and then I have I just went and bought like some decor. I have like a little pumpkin and I have my candle and I bought some stuff. I'm actually thinking about doing like an autumn fashion like decor video. So um, please comment below if you want me to do something like that. Also, I realized I never say please like and subscribe. So before we get like too far in, please like my video. It uh, is actually my most watched video has like 8,000 views. 
but so few people like the videos. So few people subscribe. Please like and subscribe. It really helps. It's just a button. Please press the button. Okay, moving on to foundation. So my very favorite is the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place. I have two good colors for this. One of them is a crew and one of them is pure beige. I go between them. But this is just my all around favorite classic. Stays on doesn't budge anywhere it looks beautiful it has like a really natural satin finish it's gorgeous it's like one of the most popular foundations for a reason right my next favorite is a newer foundation and i actually want to try um both the new hourglass ambient 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 good goshness i swear i'm smart uh, foundation I also want to try the light reflecting foundation by NARS but this is fairly close in my mind but those foundations are like 60 70 dollars so I gotta like build myself up to that as was this the Shiseido skin sh synchro skin radiant finish um, and I have linen is to 220 I love this it's so light it looks beautiful it looks like real skin it's just like radiant. It's so nice. It stays really nice for a really long time. I have absolutely no complaints about that. My last one is a bit of a, um, it might be a bit controversial because I know, I think a lot of people hate this, but my fav one of my favorite is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter uh, Foundation and mine is in Cashew 140. The reason why I think that people hate this so much is so, so heavily fragranced like smells like old woman perfume but it is the most coverage foundation I've ever had I use this as a mixer constantly it's so good for mixing and then if you just like need to erase your face like there is nothing on your face you're erasing it for life to like build a new face this is what you use and as an actor like it just it that's what I want sometimes I want to erase my face and build a new face so that's why I love this um I'm really excited to try their new concealer the faux filter concealer which I haven't yet speaking of moving on to concealer I have my favorite three I have the KVD what is this called this is called the lightweight full coverage concealer this is in light 109 I actually really like the packaging I think it's cute and just like a nice doe foot applicator obvs this is heavy duty as well like sometimes it creases sometimes it doesn't most of the time it doesn't which is why I like it and it's so heavy duty coverage I usually use like a regular thinner concealer like kind of like the bear with me NYX concealer and then I'll add like tiny dot here and a tiny dot here to just like really erase the last final like vestiges of my dark eye circles that just peek through um so this is I love it my next one is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is also really full coverage, but it's almost easier to use. And I feel like like the littlest goes a long way. Like I'm so used to being like, rah, 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 but I just need to learn to be a little bit more light-handed because this goes a long way. And it's good for um, Sarah, a good friend of mine from um, my restaurant job. She uses this foundation, which I just, and her skin is flawless all the time. So I'm going to have to give that one a go. And my very favorite concealer from, um, that's high end. This one's from Sephora is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This one is just a tiny one because I wanted to try it before I got the big one. And this is in Creme. Um, I love this. This is so smooth. This is so beautiful. This doesn't crease. I'm wearing it right now. And it just does not crease at all, which for my aging skin is just so perfect. So I'm going to be buying this in a full size any day now, any day. Moving on to bronzer. Okay, I have our top three bronzers. My first one I'm going to talk about is the Milk Makeup. I just got this. I just got this in like one of my last unboxings and I love it. So smooth so pigmented so easy to use blends like a dream Pfft, great and i like like a stick like a stick is so easy to use my next favorite is going to be the huda beauty tantour i have mine in light i love the pigmentation of this 
I love the color. I love how easy it is to use. It blends out really nicely and it's just when you need like a little bit extra like when I film my auditions I always use this because it it's a good sculptor like I you, you'll be able to see my cheekbones you'll be able to see my jawline because some bronzers are just too light to kind of be picked up on camera and then this is just what I use I love it and like there's so much product in here who knows if I'll ever go through it my last favorite one is the Patrick Ta she's so LA this is a double so I love the fact that it's a double because I usually do double mix. So we have the cream underneath like a little window here, which I love obviously. And this color is just gorge. Like it's a little bit cooler, which I love. And then we have the bronzer, the powder on top. I actually almost all the time will use a cream on the bottom and then just set it with a powder. This is great. It's a little pricey for my liking, but it is my final pick. For blushes, I think blush was the one that I had the hardest time like narrowing it down um, because there are just so many good high-end blushes. My number one favorite high-end blush has got to be the Rare Beauty. It is just so gorgeous, absolutely pigmented. This is in Happy and like I'm never gonna, I'm never ever ever gonna run out of this. There's so much gosh darn product in this. Like I, I want to like show you but it's Fine, I'll show you. Fine, guys. Fine. Calm down. I'll show you. Okay, so like a dot. A, a dot, right? Okay. Like a dot. Look how far that goes. Like so far. Now I'm just going to be leaving that for the rest of the video. Maybe I'll just try to swoosh it in. Okay, guys, I got a little bit of a sunburn. That's okay. Down the cleavage. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. Okay, next we have the LYS. I really like LYS. I, I was very impressed with their blush. Look at this color. This is in Kindness. It's so gorgeous. It's highly pigmented, especially for the color. Blends out like a dream. You don't have to use very much, and it stays, which I love. I'm going to try. I really want to try the powder. People seem to really like the powder from LYS and the concealer. My next favorite is also a new one. This is going to be the Benefit Shelly. I did this in my last unboxing and I was worried that it wouldn't have enough color payoff, but I was wrong. The color payoff on this bad boy is phenomenal, is gorgeous, and it and it blends really well and it looks beautiful. And this color specifically is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I'm going like this. I'm not wearing it right now. This is absolutely gorgeous i definitely want to try more colors i'm not a fan of the boxes like it's cute it looks cute but it's not the easiest to navigate like i feel like it's not easy to use the product like this i feel like once you start hitting pan you're not going to be able to get into the corners and i feel like that'll drive me crazy all right next we have powders Whew. okay i have some good ones here so I have a setting all over the face powder, I have an under eye powder, and then I have a touch up powder. So my number one favorite is going to be the Huda Beauty Cupcake. Um, I want to try different colors because this is, has a slight pink undertone, which is perfect for under the eyes. But I think I want to try like pound cake or something like else for my face because this might be a little too pink for all over the face. I don't know how I feel about like there's a mesh um, guard kind of, and I feel like I can't get as much product as I want, which sounds stupid. People are like, Laura, there's tons of product there. Like you can get it. And I want to be like, no, I want it all. Like, let me have access to every single little bit of that powder. Um, it has the same, like a highly pigmented Huda Beauty old woman fragrance. I don't know why she does that. If you're going to fragrant it, fragrant it. If you're going to add fragrance, you should at least make it something like delicious. Uh, this is not it for me, but the product is gold. Love it, love it, love it. The next one is going to be the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder for the Under Eyes. This is, oh look, there I am. Hi! This is um, white. White, 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 white. And I love it. I, it works so great at brightening my under eyes. I love um, putting like a pressed powder first and then a loose powder over top because oh I wish I knew that I need to start um remembering people's tags and people's accounts so that when I think of things that they've told me or 
or things that I've learned from them, I can tell, I can tell you who it is. I can tell you the tag. Today is not that day. I will get better. Okay. Uh, finally, we have the Fenty Beauty Universal Blotting Powder in Visimat. This is perfect for going out. And I left my shiny, shiny self so I could just show you. So we're going to start. <sighs> gone. Do you see that? Absolutely gone. Just easy peasy. Like, I just toss this in my purse and I am no longer an absolute shine ball. How easy was that? So beautiful. I love it. And I, I've used it for so long and I feel like I haven't used any. So I'm just going to end up using it for a lifetime. Okay. So usually after this, I always do my base first and then move to eyes, which I know is also controversial. I usually do... Um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara. So I'm going to start off with eyeshadow. So my favorite high-end eyeshadow of all time, R.I.P., is the Tati Beauty Palette. Oh, we are not worthy. We are not worthy. If you do not know who Tati Beauty is, find out. She is, she was the reason I got into makeup in the first place. She was the first YouTuber I started watching and I absolutely fell in love and I was so excited. I think this is the only thing I've ever bought from a YouTuber. I was so excited for there to be a volume two. Oh, upside down. Volume two. Um, and it just what happened to her is just so sad. Um, I'm sure you could read up all about it. And yes, she did some of the own drama for her stuff too. But I mean, we all make mistakes, so we have to forgive people. Anyway, what I really care about... What I, what I really am saying when I say that is that it's too bad about what happened to her company. She had this beautiful Tati Beauty company. It no longer exists. And I am sad because I will never be able to replace my favorite palette in the whole world. Let's crack her open and see. Ah! Not only does it have this big, giant mirror. Look at this. Gorgeous. The color story from this. These are all the colors. And then these are all the... Uh, types of finish. So we have matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. So all of these are so matte, all of these are sequined, all of these are metallic, and all of these are glitter. And the color payoff from this is like nothing I've ever seen in my life. When these glitters go, I am going to be the saddest person in history. I kid you not. Anywho, I will enjoy it while it lasts. Next, my second favorite palette, Anastasia Soft Glam. It is a cherished, cherished item. I love that it is like velvet. It's so beautiful. This is Dirty AF. Sorry, I've used it a million times. I'm sad that the Anastasia palettes don't come with a little um, brush anymore because they used to. I have about three of them. And look how much I've used this. Obviously, I've hit pan in three of them. But these glitters are also really beautiful. These mattes are so highly pigmented. My only issue with these is it has massive fallout. Did you hear my boyfriend sneeze? Ready? Bless you! Um, and like, look, this is completely gone. Tempura. I'm going to need to repurchase this at some point in time. Love it. Perfect for fall. Per perfect. If I need to bring one palette on vacation, I will usually bring this. Next, we have, ooh, this is a fairly new one for me. Uh, the Danessa Myricks. This is the Fireball. I can't remember exactly what this, what this eyeshadow is called, but it's pretty much like heavy glitters. Okay, look at this. Oh, I'm so excited to show. Look at this. Gorgeous, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to take a little baby bit so I can show you. Right? How freaking gorgeous is that? It's like foil. Absolutely love it. Great. So that is the end of my eyeshadows. So here's where it gets tricky, people. Let me tell you. For eyeliners, I mostly use drugstore. For mascaras, I only use drugstore. For eyebrows, I almost exclusively use drugstores. So I'm just going to give you my two favorite product, my two really only products that I really like 
better than drugstore in those categories. One, the Anastasia Brow Pen. So got this tiny winky winky applicator that just is perfect and I love the color. So that one is uh, probably one of my favorites for brows. I do wanna try a couple other of their brow products because I hear they do brows well. My other one is the Makeup by Mario Eyeliner. This is in brown. Um, I absolutely, I'm almost, this was ginormous and I have whittled this thing down to a gosh darn nub. Um, it does not transfer at all, but if you put some on and then use this little brush and like swoop it off, it makes a perfect wing. I don't know the kind of crazy magic that they have in this, but I love it. Okay, so now we have lips. Um, I have Dose lip liners because I didn't have three. Yeah, so I have the Buxom Power Line, which I absolutely love. Hi, this is in Dolly. Look at this applicator. It's like kind of, what is that? A cone shaped. So good. And it's perfect for like, um, putting it like up and around your arch and then down at the bottom. And then it comes with a very awesome like lip. Come on, focus. Brush that I use constantly because it's my new thing to like put lip liner on perfectly and then slightly like brush it into the center to fade it so it's not such a harsh line my second favorite lip liner I think people don't really know I think it is a hidden gem that I am going to shovel out and break open the seal and uncover for you it is the refi lip sculpt this is in blush and this is a very dry lip liner that like has broken on me a bajillion times but it's still worth it it's still worth it guys and it comes with a setting like gel so it doesn't move and it doesn't move i love this i cannot wait to try it in another um i almost said flavor i can't wait to try it in another flavor I cannot wait to try it in another color. This is my number one favorite lip gloss that is high, lip liner that is high end. Speaking of lip glosses, I have so many lip glosses in front of here, in front of me for you. And so I am just going to roll through them. And I think I broke the rule about three. I think I have four here. So we're going to start with the Maracuja Lip Plump. Very classic. My only annoyance about this is that I don't think it's, it has very much product. I don't think it's going to last very long. But I love the, like, spiciness to the lip thing. Oh, I just thought it even make sense. I love that it feels, like, super plumping spicy. This is in the color Peachy Beige. I like this. And then I also have the Clarins Oil, which is just, look, it's gotten so, like, milky because I always put it on, on top of... Oh, does a smell that reminds me of something like in my childhood love it one of my favorite high-end lip oils but i actually would recommend the milani lip oil over this and then my number one favorite lip product probably ever i use a hundred times a day a day is the laneige lip sleeping mask i have gone through about seven of these this is the gummy bear one i think it's my favorite because it leaves kind of like a purplish tint which i love and then my last of my lip glosses that are my favorite is the classic buxom power it's what is it called like the power this is in kanani how i'm going to show you how many of these i have ready one two three four five six, seven, eight. I have eight of them. That's how much I love them. Oh, so good. Stays on, feels minty, feels spicy, gives a little lip plump. It's got good color payoff. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just going to put these right in the drawer. And then I only have two lipsticks because the other ones I don't like enough to like put in this. So I don't have top three because there's only two worth it for me. 
I have the, that's also another good thing you can buy at the drugstore, Pretty Social Lipstick from Smashbox. So beautiful. This was actually, um, I got married once upon a time. This was my wedding lipstick. Beautiful. And it stuck around and it's got this like, see that sheen? So nice. I will tell you that story one day, guys. I'm sure you want to hear it. And then also the, so funny. My other one is literally called Wedding Day hilarious this is from uh huda beauty and it's a little too dark for me but i love the power bullet formula i think it's just the most gorgeous thing oh maybe it's not too dark for me maybe i'm maybe i should start trying this shit oh, yeah that's nice okay so that's it for my products but i have some fun little extra surprises Extra surprise number one, Beauty Blender. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. The Beauty Blender changed the game unlike anything else that we've seen. It. I will never again do my makeup without a Beauty Blender or like a makeup sponge. Like, And this was the OG. Like, I'm so impressed. The finish that this gives your skin is just so gorgeous and seeped in and natural and it helps the makeup to stay on without coming off because you're literally like putting it on so it doesn't like transfer off you know what I mean love it this will never this will never leave my life the second product I have is also from Tati Beauty RIP it is a powder puff but it's a giant powder puff and it's such a good uh, powder puff in the fact that you can clean it and reuse it like I'm just I just wiped off all of that lipstick in one go when it's usually so hard to wipe off and this will be the easiest thing to clean it, and just with soap and water I don't know how she did it because with a beauty blender you have to use like the beauty blender cleaner crazy and then I do have three fragrances because I I actually have like four fragrances but I only have three three here my number one favorite thing at Sephora in general in total is the replica scents if you've never smelled the replica scents I guarantee there's at least one that you like that's your that's your vibe that's your tone that's something that you can appreciate and though I have three of those for me so one of them is under the lemon trees this one is my boyfriend's favorite scent and when we first started dating this is what I wore all the time he said I love the way you smell once and I was like okay <laughs> And he likes, it's funny because he likes lemon smells, but he hates the taste of lemon in food, weirdly enough. And then um, this is Beach Walk. And it literally just smells like sunscreen, the ocean, coconut, sand, my favorite. And um, then my last favorite is um, Sailing Day. If I could smell like I was on vacation all day every day I would coconuts sunscreen the the salt of the ocean like this crisp linen smell oh so good so that is everything guys thank you so much for sticking with me for this top three products in every category except a few because I cheated um luxury video I hope you enjoyed it I hope that you come back and see my other videos and see what kind of fun we can get on together. I have a lot of fun things coming up for us both. And I hope you have a lovely day. Whatever you're doing, be well, make good choices. 